So I've been to another auction, I have bought some stuff and Richard has just got back with it now and on the back is a hay bob, but it's not a normal hay bob. Normal hay bobs are either 200 series or 300 series hay bobs. This is something a little bit different that not many of you might have seen if you know of hay bobs or you probably have. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you're familiar with hay bobs. But on the front, I got that. Yes, I have bought that. Do you know what it is? No. But I've bought one. I've won one for a while. Uh, Flecky Dicky's just come with the telly so we're going to get them unloaded and then we'll take a look around and try see if we can try and work out what this is and show you what a 380 hay bob is rather than a 300 or a 200. Right, Grover here has <laughs> <laughs> unloaded the machines, got the hay bob and we've got whatever. I'm trying to get it out of the way, Rich. <laughs> what this is. That sweeper thingy. A sweeper thingy. And um, right, let's have a look around the hay bob and then we'll move on to the sweeper because we tried starting it on the trailer just now and it wouldn't start, it just cranked over. So it's going to be a will it start video now. All right, got magic out here as well. So hay bob, what do you reckon, Mike? Love them or hate them. <laughs> Very true. More, Mike. All right, in the day. Yeah. So this is a 380 hay bob, which with 200 series and 300 series hay bobs, they don't extend. Whereas this one is telescopic. So you can have this arm here and you can winch it out to make it wider for a wider row. And it has, it has got a few little issues on it. Like, you know, tire off the rim. Um, some springs and tines are broken. And the gates are, well, they've seen better days. But a 380, in my opinion, is quite a sought after machine in the hay bob world. But like Mike says, they're a bit like Marmite and love her on the hate them. And you say, Ed, it's these, you, your height adjustment. Seize up. Seize up. And mm. they, although the, most times I'm just left in the center and left alone. Yeah, because up high, Mike, I believe is for turning grass, isn't it? And down low is for raking, isn't it? Is that right? Uh, or the other way around, maybe? Back. Up for rolling up, down for tenning, I think. Yeah. I, uh, to be fair, just so long ago I used one. <laughs> oh, see that yellow dot? Yeah. That refers to your tines, whether right. it's left or right-handed, because you can't you can't transfer them across. So you have yellow tines, yellow wide, n yellow narrow. It should go wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, all the way around. There we go. And same on the other side. But yeah. this side, there should be a blue dot. But it looks like that's... Not gone, there gone on. And on the tines, they'd, you, the original tines would have had a blue or a yellow dot to refer which side they're going. Mm -hmm. well, I got go. a bit of an idea, Mike. I thought if we show Rich how to replace the springs on one, oh, that's a brilliant idea. On one, <laughs> and then he can do the rest. Yeah. What do you reckon, Rich? Uh, Thanks. Up, up for a challenge? <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> generally the apprentice's job, isn't it, to do the tines <laughs> on Abel, <A> Mike? <laughs> I'm guessing it's hard. Not hard so much. There's, a, there's a knack just... to it, shall we say? Once you once you once you've done one a bob, you know how to do them. <laughs> yeah, so I paid three hundred and fifty pounds for this, which for a three hundred and eighty so is stop, not bad price. Go, It'd be worth probably up, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred quid. Dragging in the uh, all tined up, new PDO shaft and everything on it. So there should still be some profit in it. It just depends yeah, on how long Rich up, takes to do the springs on the time. When you fire it up, it's an absolute fugal force. Failure comes along. Yeah, so Rich just asked what these are for on the back. So it's your gates on the back. Go on, Mike, in theory. In theory, you've got your old fi old fashioned fields, not overly big, and you've got your trees around the outside. So you go around the wrong way first, and then every gate, so you flick all the grass that's in against the edge, which wouldn't see so much sun. You flick that back out into the field, uh -huh. and then you can set them up and go around the correct way then. And you can accept that you put your gates wide on both sides for turning. And then when you're rowing up, you put your gates so they're facing inward. So as your tines come round and push your grass there, it puts it into a row, ready to bail. Because you should, cool. you should have got two of these little chappies here. Yeah. You learn something new every day. It's yeah, absolutely sweet. fucking useless information. But you <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for this, which I'm well excited about. Very, very excited about this. So Magic and Grover have one? unloaded it with Brutus. And this is a self-propelled sweeper. So you've got a sweeper on the front there for your edges. No, and then in underneath there is a big brush, which we're yet to work out how it works. Because I have no clue about this whatsoever. 
This is one of my special yeah. purchases that I bought for ourselves to hopefully keep, well, I change my mind every five minutes, so I might sell it yet, but for all the concrete we got here is to keep everything swept up, hopefully. It is gas powered. Now, in my experience, my love for gas isn't great. Theoretically, it is just a petrol engine, Mike, running on gas, am I right? Yeah, you've got a carb, instead of a carburetor, you've got a, another diffuser type effort in, in mm -hmm. its place. This hydrostatic drive. But, um, with a brake pedal. It's got some buttons and levers. The steering wheel, handy. And some more buttons and levers up there, so. He's in float mode at the moment. Show Ooh. us float mode, Rich. Float mode. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still suspended at the moment. Oh, Mike's found a so, filter. Yeah, well, I was going to say, this thing, does he collect, if he collects oil, does he collect I pre it? Well, I presume does he that, just... That's your bin there, look. That's your hopper. Mm -hmm. But how you empty that, I have no idea. Because then you've got a... Hydraulic job, is it? Bung here. But being that this was a Everybody purchase from it. auction video, it's now going to turn into a will it start video because it's just cranking, but not firing. But now we've got magic here, we'll probably have a bit better of a chance of happening. If I sit in in a minute and just try and just show them what it's not doing. Or oh, never know, it might just start right up. It's got a rape alarm as well, it's handy. Especially a Grover about. <laughs> Turn ignition on. And it's done apparently 1214 hours. Oh, that's a good thing, or no one likes driving it. <laughs> right. So I'm in me swinging, swinging dangly thing. Go on, swing This is what he's doing at the moment. Just cranking. Magic, we're going to need you. Well, the good news is there's plenty of gas in the bottle. Yeah, there's plenty of gas. Well, oh, uh, hello. We have an engine. <laughs> Rich nearly went with it. <laughs> cool, look at the state of that. Oh, come around there. Oh, beautiful. There's our fuel pipe, or gas pipe. Go into there, and then goes in there and goes, supposed to go brum, 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 but it's not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, that looks like a Kubota cylinder head top. It is Kubota, is it? Well, no, I'm just going by the, yeah, that the look of the style mm. and that breather. I don't know if you've got any. Uh, I'm not looking quite it's a Kubota now, it's not blue. No. Silver. Needs but a bloody good clean. Perhaps it's just a Kubota oil cap on the top. Well, yeah. Well, it just looks that's got, colour, huh? that's got Kubota written all over it, isn't it? It's just why Mike's gone to go and get something. I found some switches down here. Is it in that switch? Or is it fuses? That oh, could be fuses. Trips. Mm. I'm presuming that's hydraulic oil in there. Uh, Non-existent hydraulic oil. It's going to have got, got coolant? It's right, yeah, it got... Uh, yeah, you tasted it. Sorry? You tasted it. <laughs> oh, what, to see if it's sweet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I say all, all, all people do the dangerous jobs. Glad <laughs> <laughs> you put it, Mike, doesn't matter if you die. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to die anyway. <laughs> no, right, Mike, spraying some go-go in. I've lost my seat and, um, yeah. Oh, right, go-go works. Try again. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That was nice. Rub it up. <laughs> amazing. That was amazing. You flash your beacon way. Alright, just wanna let's just try and without the go-go, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? We just had a bit of an airlock in the line, Mike, or well, not airlock? Do you have an airlock in a gas line or not? <laughs> I don't know. It's all witchcraft to me, man. <laughs> I don't have too many gas tractors. <laughs> That's true. We're learning as we go. I got a question down here for you in a minute, Mike. When we've done this, but <laughs> all right, all right, Richie. One thing I didn't point out is it's got a lovely crack in the windscreen. It's got, got air conditioning. Yeah, I didn't, to be fair, I didn't, it, when I bought it, it didn't have a cracked windscreen. It only had a cracked windscreen once Grover picked it up. 
Cheers. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah, but that might be something to do with the strap. Hey? If you just look at your strap, it's right in front of it, your head height. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Because it was picked up with chains. <laughs> I get blamed for everything. <laughs> oh, Grover. <laughs> All right. Yeah. On we go. Uh, so which way around you want in this well, time? You, it's got to go that you way. You've got to go that way because they yeah. must have had someone go wrong with a pipe or something and they fed it a shorter run. It must be half full, I think it can. Yeah, I've got to go get in the bar. Oh, yeah. Learn, learning all the time. Yeah, okay. right. Let's see if she starts again. Ha ha! I'll bring the revs down a bit. And I'm presuming I can go. Ha <laughs> ha! It drives! It drives! That forwards! Ha <laughs> ha! And reverse! Amazing! Did it have a beaver then or not? Reverse beaver, I expect. Warn people. No, it's a bit squeaky. Ah, oh, squeaky, is it? <laughs> I don't know what half this stuff does, but this Yeah. Amazing. Is that the one underneath going as well though? Oh wow! <laughs> that, is... that must be how you tip it out. That's how you tip it out, I presume. Oh, I assume so. It could also be why it's got a cracked windscreen. <laughs> oh, it's got another round there to open up your hopper. Look at that. It's got another... It's running a bit lumpy, isn't it? There's another round there to open your flap to let all your dung out. Is there another button for yeah, that? Yeah, hang on. I'm going to this one now. Yeah. There you go. Nice. That is cool, isn't it? Oh, that lowers your brush then. Uh, put it brush in. Put that down. And then go forwards. It's sweeping. It's sweeping. It is sweeping. <laughs> right, give us the beans. <laughs> right, how fast does it go? <laughs> Running rubber now. Engage me brush. Let me brush down. Yes. <laughs> right, it's just started hailing and it's in April, right? But anyway, found another button. It comes with a built-in vibrator. <laughs> On the filter, yeah, it's that one there, look. That so it bangs your filter to keep your filter clean. Hang on, Mike, this is old and there, I want to keep your fingers out of the way. Is there a prop? Fingers out of the way? You may not. Yeah, so that just vibrates your filter to keep your dust out. Won't never take the piss out of women driving again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were the type of chap to do that anyway, Mike. No. <laughs> I've just come up outside one of my tenants' buildings and there's some perfect stuff to try and sweep. There's some horrible mud which I probably won't do, I'll just smear it everywhere, but let's give it a go. That brush definitely needs to go lower. That made it go into and a bit of a sweep. And you see, it's working. But I think we do definitely need to change the brushes. 
Well, they slapped it into the pile and slapped up the yard. Well, then too bad a job. Oh, I was letting Grover have a go. It suits him actually, doesn't it? But I just realised how thin and narrow that wheel is. That is literally like two or three inches wide. That suits you, that does. <laughs> what is that? What is it? Mike said we should call it a Dalek because it's made by Tennant, as in David Tennant. And um, it looks a bit like a, well, something from another planet. So I just actually worked out that we've been using it wrong. That flap there is meant to be open. So that's open and then when you, I think when you transport, move around, you then close it. So that's why all the mud is on the back of the flap and not in the box. <laughs> Definitely doing a better job. Bit of clay. I don't think it likes clay. <laughs> hey Rich, you got a blinker working. Your indicator is working Rich. Hey. It's all coming back to life. <laughs> I'll do. That's a little tip out now. All right, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Here he comes, look. There, he's like Doctor Evil, isn't he? Got the horn work. Horn started to work. Blinker started to work. It's all coming back to life. It's all warming up. It's a sweeper, baby! Yeah! I the engine! <laughs> I think I should change his name from Grover to Trigger, I think, because he's got his new broom. Right, I've gone and parked it here now and it won't start again, so a bit more go-go juice. Right, when you're ready. Ready? Yeah, dry shot. Yeah. There's a few little jobs to do on it, so we worked out that there's a lever inside which turns a fan on. Which presses that switch in there, that we can see on the camera. That little switch there, in and out. All right, so the wire off the back of it, so I'm presuming that is what makes the fan work, to suck up dust as well. Oh, Rich is playing with his flaps. Is that to service your brush, Rich? I think so. I have no idea. I wouldn't know about these things. I got a little woman to use my brush. <laughs> But I'm very much longer. Yeah, I don't this, know. this makes brushing more fun, Mike. Because <laughs> <laughs> you might have to do it yourself now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm up with that. Anyway, yeah, a few little bits and pieces to work out, figure out. Possibly new brushes, which I just Googled. It looks like the little one at the front is 65 quid and the big one in the middle is only 95 quid. So that could be a bit of a winner. Bang new brushes on it and fix that fan, and we should be mint. Because it'll be amazing around all the concrete areas around here, keeping it all clean and tidy, because there's nothing worse than mud and crap. Anyway, I paid 400 quid for this, so I think that is an absolute bargain for a self-propelled sweeper. Rather than having to use a manual brush or you know, something like that now, it would probably be 30,000 probably, a good guess. So yeah, winner, well happy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe, please like the video. And myself, Magic and Grover, we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.